able to collaborate with the wonderful youth who are making such a difference and adding their voices to the wave that is sweeping over this state. The voice that I have to add today is to say something that we have to remember, which is that thoughts and prayers are not enough and will never be enough. Will you join me in saying that thoughts and prayers are not enough? Three times, prayers are not enough. Thoughts and prayers are not enough. I don't want to read another legislator's tweet out of cheap thoughts and prayers in response to another shooting, and especially I don't want to read them from legislators who can't be troubled to show up at memorial services and rallies and the vigils where we stand with those who have been injured and we mourn those who have been lost, good people brutally cut down. We see who comes to be with the people we see you here today. Thank you. And we thank those leaders and legislators who show up with their presence and the gun control they are working for that shows they care. And we see who stays away who tweets out or releases a statement with the kind of cheap thoughts and prayers that are no good to anybody. They bring no comfort to the families and friends of the stricken and the dead. They bring no 